Hello everyone. I think I owe people a little bit of an explanation around my video, thank God. Because I realized that there are quite a few people who don't quite grasp what I was saying in that. And that is not their fault. That it is my fault. It was a facetious video and a bit condensed, a bit concise. I skimmed over a few things and as a result I wasn't entirely clear on everything I needed to be clear on. Which in some cases wasn't that big a deal because some people did manage to somehow miraculously to get exactly what I wanted to say and respond to that. And I've got some very satisfying responses as well. Hence the gloating video I posted um, yesterday called um, I touched a bit of a nerve there, something like that. But I don't think I've been perfectly fair with the people who might have just slightly misconstrued what I was trying to say. So I wanted to, to address that. I wanted to just clarify a few things that may not have been completely clear in that original video. Just so you understand exactly where I'm coming from. Okay, first of all, Yes, I am fully aware that a phrase like thank God is often used completely unthinkingly and in a sort of meaningless sort of way. You know, I would even use it myself sometimes. Like if I can't find my keys anywhere and I'm rushing to get out the door and suddenly I spot them somewhere, I might just blurt out thank God and walk out. Not because I actually thank God. And that is the difference. What I wanted that video to be about was somebody who genuinely thanks God from the bottom of their heart. Who really extends thanks to this supernatural, omnipotent, omniscient being for something. Any other use of the phrase, of course, to that the whole argument doesn't apply. So I'm sorry if that wasn't clear. Secondly, a lot of people got a bit upset about my example. The man who was involved in the earthquake and was, and was pulled out. Now they said, yeah sure, that man of course is going to thank God for killing all the other people. No, and that is not how I meant that at all. The man in question is just a devout person and genuinely thanks to God. What I am saying in that video is that somebody like that has not thought through the implications of what they're really saying. If they had, they wouldn't be saying it. That's what I'm saying. It's not that he has thought them through and he doesn't give a damn about the other people who have died. No, he is probably the kindest person you can imagine. He is just a decent, ordinary Joe Soap in the street who just happened to hit it lucky. He is not evil. He is not bad. He shouldn't be chastised. But it's the implication of what the thanks to God means if you start taking it a little bit further is what I have a problem with. And again, I cannot stress this enough, it is not a reflection on the man who utters it, it is a reflection of the go on the God that he claims to believe in, or that he does believe in. Remember, and this is another thing that people have brought up, talking about zero-sum equations, which of course in a normal context doesn't make sense. For example, no ordinary human being can be expected to always, you know, maximize their impact on their environment, on their uh, society, on the people they love and so on and so forth and be a perfect human being because that is not possible for us. But that is not true for the God that they claim to believe in. 
the God who they claim is omnipotent and omniscient. That God could do anything they want and can know anything they want. So for example in the case of that earthquake, that God should be able to save everybody. It should have the capacity because it's omnipotent. It should have the ability, because it's omniscient and knows where everybody is, when the earthquake strikes. But it doesn't. <clears throat> and then, if you then thank God for rescuing you, when everybody else around you has died, is, even though I will perfectly be happy to accept that you don't mean it like that, you are thanking God by implication for not bothering to rescue the other ones. You are thanking God because you are the only one who survived. And yes, that is a case, Jim, of feeling special, of feeling singled out. Now, what bothered me about your video response, Jim, was that you are addressing or you are bringing up a type of religion that you know full well I have absolutely no objection to. The religion that I am objecting to, the type of religion I am objecting to, is the type that postulates this invisible friend character, this omnipotent, omniscient God who somehow cares about you personally. In that context, I think my argument is perfectly valid. Yes, of course, if you're looking at religious practices such as yoga, meditation and other such things, and even Orthodox Christian, I forgot what you called it, that is different. That is not what I'm talking about. In actual fact, I have recently had a little bit of an interaction with an Orthodox Christian from which I am getting the impression that they believe I could be wrong but I get the impression that they believe in a sort of universal salvation Jesus died for all of mankind no matter what a person believes in how could I object to that? okay so no that is not my problem my problem is with this monotheistic faith that postulates a personal, omnipotent, omniscient God. And if you then thank that God, you need to be aware of what that really implies.